Hello, it's Martha. Um, this is day 13 of my OptiFast. I'm a, um, if you haven't, you know, I haven't really said much about um, my statistics. I'm, a, I'm 45 years old. I'm turning 46 this year. And um, I'm about 5'5", five five, although there seems to be some uh, conflicting height measurements. My the place where I get my Optifast says I'm five five and a half, and I went to my um, OBGYN for my annual checkup a few days ago, and they said I'm five four and a half. So I don't know. Um, I like the five five and a half, but anyway, I started when I started my Optifast. I was two o six. And after the first week weigh-in, I lost um, 7.8 pounds. Uh, so that's a pretty good loss for the first week. And um, so the first week was, you know, I was pretty focused. Like any time, or at least for me, when any time I'm starting a new diet, which there's been many, um, you know, the first week or two, I'm able to maintain focus and stay committed, you know. Um, I'm excited about it, whatever it is, because this is going to be, of course, this is the one. Um, and and that's, as a sideline, that is what I have to, I feel like for me, is I have to get away from. It's the, this is the one thing that's going to be, you know, it. There is no one thing, I don't believe. I think that um, a lifestyle change is in a, sort of a permanent um, change in my uh, relationship with food is what I'm going to have to have. Um, I, can't, I have to stop using food um, and for you know emotional reasons and start using it to nourish my body. And, um, yeah, so I'm hoping that the OptiFast, I mean, job one is getting to a healthy body weight, um, but, whoa, I got off track. So, um, week one went pretty well, you know, it was hard, I was hungry the first few days, and, um, so that part was difficult, but... I really had no urge to cheat and, and because I was very focused on what I was doing. And this week I've noticed, um, I'm almost done with my second week here, I've really had moments where I, I wanted to eat some food, you know, like, you know, I start, I've been missing eating food um, <clears throat> more than the first week. Now I'm, I'm still quite committed and I, I don't intend to cheat. I have, and I think this is very good, I have a, a, a lot of accountability, you know, I have people in my life, including my daughter, friends, family, that are aware that I'm doing this, and I definitely um, have no intention of um, slipping up, but I have, the funny thing is I've had, like, for three nights in a row, I've had dreams that I, I was eating, that I had either accidentally or intentionally eaten some food and I was feeling so guilty and ashamed and just bummed that um, I had blown it and uh, so I think my subconscious is definitely uh, processing the feelings I'm having. Um, speaking of feelings, I've also noticed that I've become a little more uh, moody because I'm not being able to use food as I was using it in the past. Um, my good buddy that calms me down when I'm stressed or keeps me company when I'm lonely or distracts me when I'm annoyed at my daughter or whatever. Um, so I don't have that right now. And it definitely... Um, I think it's having a little bit of an impact, I'm a little bit on edge, uh, so I think it's important for me to take care of myself uh, emotionally too, 
And I'm doing that with, um, you know, getting support from my friends, um, getting out and exercising, um, those sorts of things that um, that help me process my emotions in a more healthy way. Um, but I'm definitely a little more irritable with my daughter and just in general. <clears throat> um, the other thing is this week, I've really, my daughter noticed at first, she's like, Mom, your breath stinks. And I can't really smell it, but I can, my mouth is sort of dry and tastes funny to me. And so I think that's the ketosis um, that you get when you're burning fat. But my daughter is totally grossed out by it because we're in close proximity a lot. Um, so, of course, um, my boyfriend didn't say anything, but um, he probably wouldn't. Uh, anyway, the she... So she's multiple times this weekend was like, ugh. So I explained it to her. But so the ketosis is definitely, um, it's not very pleasant. Um, as I said, I can't smell it. Um, but I think that other people can, surely. And that um, I do have a little bit of an unpleasant sensation in my mouth. I probably should be drinking more water. I don't think I'm quite making my 64 ounce goal per day. But um, so I really, the main thing that I've noticed in week two is I'm starting to uh, romanticize food and miss it. And, and uh, I'm a little bit less in that acceptance uh, mode that uh, you know, I'm not going to eat for a while. Um, but I think this too shall pass, and I'm, I'm have no intention of um, eating. Uh, <clears throat> oops. My screensaver came on. Uh, anyway, that's it. I've been uh, doing well, sticking to five shakes a day. Most days, although one day when I did a really um, a rigorous hike, I had a sixth shake. And um, so when I exercise strenuously, I definitely, my body asks for more. Um, but it, it is just remarkable to me that I'm just surviving on 800 calories a day without being starving. Not not hungry. So tomorrow is my week two weigh in. Um, I'm trying to make sure my expectations aren't too high since I lost so much last week. Uh, the first week, seven point eight pounds. I'm I know that it it probably won't be um, so much of a loss this week, but <sighs> yeah, a little cranky little morning uh, in morning for my food and that's it I'll check in um, again soon thanks for watching bye